Hi guys and welcome back. Today's video I want to share with you some DIY autumn decor. I have been loving seeing all the pictures on Instagram and Facebook of everyone's autumnal decor and it's really put me in the mood to decorate my own home but if you follow my channel for a while you will know that I like to do things on a budget. So everything that I have made in today's video I made with things I already had in my home so it didn't cost me anything. You may not have these same items in your home but you will be able to pick them up very cheaply so I'm going to share with you the things that I've made. So I started off by getting the girls to collect some things from the garden. So we've got some twigs here, some really nice autumnal golden leaves and also some bark that had fallen off a tree which is in our garden. We're also going to be using this glass and it's actually just an empty Nutella jar. It's one of the Poundland Nutellas and after it was finished we washed it out and we're going to be using that today for our DIY project. We also took some coloured card out the cupboard to use and some frames I had from Poundland and it's beneficial to have a glue gun. It's not essential but it is definitely beneficial. So first up we're going to be making this stick candle holder. I think it looks really effective and is so easy to make. So all we did was take our hot glue gun and pop some glue directly onto the glass and then we just took our sticks and added them onto the glue. Now obviously hot glue guns are very dangerous. I allowed Caitlin to help with this under my very close supervision but it's not recommended for children to use hot glue guns. Now it's important to work in small areas because if you work in a big area then the glue is going to harden and dry before you have a chance to stick the sticks on. So we just gradually added sticks all the way around until the glass was completely covered and then once cooled we added a tea light and that's it. So next up is this autumnal bark photo frame and all we did was take one of our Poundland picture frames and we just added some hot glue and then started sticking on the pieces of bark that we found in the garden. And I just sort of placed the bark on before I glued it just to see where I liked the placement and then once I was happy with it I then glued it on and just kept doing this until the whole photo frame was covered. And here is our finished photo frame. Next up we're going to be making this 3D leaf art and this is one of the simplest tasks that we did. All we did was take a piece of card and we popped it inside one of the photo frames and we took out the glass from the picture frame because we wanted the leaves to kind of pop out from the frame and then used our hot glue gun to stick the leaves down to the card. And it's as simple as that and it's really effective and Caitlin is enjoying having it in her bedroom. Okay, I saved this one to last because it's my absolute favourite, but it is this fabric pumpkin. Now, I just used some old fabric that I had in the house. It was actually a pair of mustard coloured velvet curtains that I picked up in a charity shop because I just absolutely loved the fabric and I've never used it for anything, but I thought it would be perfect for this project. So I cut out a long rectangular shape. I used some wadding that I had in the house, but you could just use any old scraps of fabric or even rolled up newspaper to fill it. And then I used my glue gun to glue it down the edges of the rectangle to make almost like a big long sausage. I also glued down the ends so you couldn't see any of the wadding. So you end up with this long tube of fabric filled with wadding. And then all I did was rolled it up in a spiral and glued the ends down to keep it in place. I then took some string and I threaded it through the middle of my pumpkin and tied it in a tight knot. Now by pulling it tight it creates the sort of ridges on your pumpkin and then once I tied the knot I then wound it round so that it was inside the pumpkin so it couldn't be seen. And I just did this a few times around the pumpkin until I was happy with how it looked. And then to finish it off I took this big piece of branch that we found outside. It was just the perfect size actually and we made sure it was completely dry and then used the hot glue gun to glue it in place and that made like the stock of our pumpkin. And I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I think it looks really effective and it cost me nothing because I made it with things I already had in the house. And you can make your pumpkin any colour you want with whatever fabric you have lying around. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you've got this far in the video, then comment below your favourite thing about autumn. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you'd subscribe and also hit that bell so that you get notifications of all my new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!